Yeah, hi. I've um, gone out and bought myself a uh, little quadcopter. It's produced by Walkira. It's the QRX350 and it's the pro version. Now, quite a nice little copter. Um, as you can see, the name on it there. It's got a little 2D gimbal which is sitting underneath there. So my little camera that fits in there, which is um, the actual uh, SJ4000 produced by SJ Cam, which is the particular camera that's taking the uh, video of this at the moment. Um, it's not a not a bad little setup. But the first problem I've come across is my eyesight's not as good as it used to be. So I'm finding that the symbols which are here, you, you can sort of make them out. There's a clockwise and an anti-clockwise one on the actual arms. They correspond with markings which are physically on the propellers. Now, as you can see, it's, it's not that easy. I mean, these, these propellers are... Uh, bit hard to read. There are markings on it, but you get in bright sunlight outside and suddenly those markings become non-existent. You just cannot see them. So what I've done to make myself you know, a bit more comfortable, make it a bit easier for me, is I've gone along and I've simply grabbed these little, little end caps and I've colorized some. So this one, as you can see, has got a green on it. Now, the green coloring corresponds precisely with what I've done with the propeller. I've actually colorized as well as that. So you can see there's a green on it. Now the green itself fits over, strangely enough, where the green goes. That one fits on top. The other side, to make life easy for myself, this one has no coloring. So a corresponding propeller with absolutely no coloring at all in it just sits directly on top of no color. Nice and easy so far. We go to the other side now again. Make life nice and easy for yourself. Unscrew, no colour. Pick up your propellers, you go, oh, that one's colourised, that's not very good, can't use that one. Pick up the other one, have a look on either side, no colouring. That one fits on top of that, nice and easy. Now the last one, I don't even have to be Einstein to figure it out. This one, of course, has colour on it. And makes it nice and easy. So again, that particular propeller has colour, fits over the top of that, and makes life nice and easy at the moment. That's upside down for anyone who's wondering. I should put it around the right way. They've got little um, key slots in them and they snap into place quite easily. And that's, that's what I've found is the easiest way for me in the bright sunlight to actually work out where the propellers go. I hope you find that uh, kind of handy for yourself and simple. Oh, before I forget, the colouring is actually done with simple texture because that was all I had laying around and I had a green one and that's it. I mean, you can use any colour texture you like and it works really, really well. Okay, catch you later.